We have a special 13 Investigates report for you tonight. Thousands of Hoosiers are still waiting for help after losing their jobs because of the pandemic. Well, tonight our Bob Siegel found out why this problem isn't going away even after the state spent millions to fix it. Matthew Boyd has been waiting four and a half months to get unemployment. I got it for a while and then they just stopped. That was over 140 days ago and he has not been able to get anyone at the Department of Workforce Development to explain why his weekly claims are denied. I can't help with any of the bills around the house. I just literally just feel useless. I really like that job. Myrna Dowell feels the same way. It's almost been like a nightmare. Myrna got laid off back in March because of the pandemic, but she has received only two unemployment checks since then, and that was back in July. Since then, I have not gotten a check for 12 weeks. Myrna and Matthew are not alone. 13 News asked the Department of Workforce Development how many Hoosiers have pending unemployment claims that are still waiting to be paid. It took months to get the data, and the numbers we did get show only a snapshot in time. But that snapshot is telling. During the first five months of the pandemic, Indiana received about 8.2 million claims for weekly unemployment. As of August 21st, the state had paid out about 6.8 million of those claims, about 83%. But that same data revealed more than 700,000 unemployment claims were still pending. We're talking 700,000 requests for unemployment dating back as far as March, still unresolved at the end of August. The Department of Workforce Development says some of those claims were turned in late and some might be pending because of fraud. But that does not explain cases like these. Adding insult to injury, families across the state tell 13 News trying to get problems with Department of Workforce Development resolved takes forever. It took them about two, three hours on the phone to maybe get an answer machine. And sometimes two hours on hold ends like this. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> what just happened? They hung up. It's not supposed to be that way. Back in April, when hundreds of thousands of Hoosiers flooded the state with questions about unemployment benefits, the state hired a contractor to answer those calls. A company called Naviant got this $5 million contract to provide 90 workers to help Hoosiers needing help with their unemployment. But data obtained by 13 News shows for several weeks after Naviant was hired, Hoosiers calling with unemployment questions still waited an average of an hour and a half, sometimes almost two hours, to speak to a human being. That's just about the same wait time as before the state hired the contractor. Facing a growing backlash, the state quietly decided to triple the number of contracted call agents and triple the size of its call center contract to a whopping $15 million. Eventually, by mid-May, average wait times finally started to fall below 30 minutes. In June, the state says average wait times on some days got as low as six minutes before jumping back up again in July. And despite all that, Hoosiers like these say there are still times they wait on hold for hours. Yesterday I called, I could, they couldn't accept my call at all. So why has the state paid millions of dollars to hundreds of workers to fix a problem that clearly is not fixed? Good luck finding someone, anyone, to answer that question. What good is it doing to call him for help? If it's going to take that long, there's no point. For what it's worth, it's not just people applying for unemployment who can't get through to the Department of Workforce Development. Over the last eight weeks, 13 News has reached out to the department eight times to ask about long delays and wait times. Eight weeks, eight separate requests. The department has not responded to our interview request even once. And remember, if you have a problem that needs to be fixed, just share it with our 13 Investigates team. You can send us a photo or video to the number you see on your screen. Just make sure to text, don't call.